We're all gonna pretend, <laughs> we're just gonna pretend that yeah. there was a really good reason <laughs> that she was in London and, you know, why not? London's a really fascinating place and who wouldn't want to go over there and stay, you know, a couple of decades or so. Well, Takia, now I'm wondering, is Tanya Baxter walking through the door with a British accent? Well, is she? Well, <laughs> we'll certainly see, won't we? What are you doing? Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. But what if someone actually heard you? Takia Crystal Kima, it is so nice to officially, virtually meet you <laughs> after all these years. I am bursting with excitement because you are finally returning to your role as Tanya Baxter in the Ravens universe. How are you <laughs> feeling? I, it is so exciting. I, I, I can't even believe it. You know, some things were going on in my personal life when I didn't continue with the original show. I didn't learn till years later that people noticed that I was gone. Oh. And then it's like over the years, where is she? Where is she? And then when Rondell did a guest spot, I was like, whoa, I see the dad. Where's the mom? <laughs> and they're belligerent writing me. What? How come you're like, it's not my show. I love this show. I watched this show. You should watch this show. <laughs> you know, I'm just thrilled for me and for my fans that finally, finally, I get to play a character that I created 20 years ago. To finally have you back, it feels like such a sweet, satisfying moment for us as fans. For you, I'm curious, how did this all even come about? Uh, they asked me if if I wanted to come play with them, and I said yes. It was it was kind of just that simple. Was this a result of Raven reaching out to you? Was Rondell reaching out to you? I'm not good at keeping up with my TV daughter, but mm -hmm. we've stayed in touch, and I've never felt unlike my fans, like like there was some obligation to be on the show. I felt like it, it is a different show. And mm -hmm. it's not the original show and and we don't have to be on it. Mm -hmm. Whoever she wants to be on it and whoever the, the production wants to be on should be on it. But, you know, I'm a fan of shows, too. And I like when people come back and you go, oh, wow, now they're all together. You know, yeah. I, I have that same excitement. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I, I don't think I would ever have said no, mm -hmm. it's, but I never felt like, you know, hey, well, I'll go, you know, I yeah. just, it was a different show. And so they had asked me for my availability right before the pandemic mm -hmm. and then everything shut down. And okay. so they, when they asked me again, you know, we were like, okay, for real? <laughs> this, Can this we really, really do it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I would do anything for Raven. She, she's, you know, just my, my heart. I, I love her so much. I'm so proud of her. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if Raven is asking, the answer is yes. So oh. we'll work out the details later. Because there is such a jump between <laughs> when we last saw you and then where we pick up now, have you been following? the episodes. Did you watch the last season of That's So Raven? Did you watch Corey in the house? And have you been watching Raven's Home? Oh my gosh, I watched no television. I, I was taking care of my grandmother when, when that, that's why I didn't go to the fourth season of That's So Raven. I, I watched my grandmother is what I watched for, for the next two years. So no, I, I, that's why I didn't know until years after that there was any kind of hullabaloo about my leaving the show. Because we mm -hmm. weren't even on, the parents weren't even on every episode. And the episodes that we weren't on did fine in the race. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you are I'll so never beloved. miss me. I mean, they're good. <laughs> you know? oh, and, no. and I remember even at the time when I told Raven, you know, I can't keep this up because I was bringing my grandmother to work with me. Um, uh, on on the set of That's a Raven, and Kyle's mom and Orlando's mom would watch her when I was on the set, mm -hmm. and I would have to come early to work to give her time to to, to leave time to coax her out of the car, because mm -hmm. <laughs> we would get there and go, okay, we're at work. And she'd go, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so it just it couldn't be maintained. It it, it couldn't yeah. be maintained. So, okay. But I talked when I talked to Raven, I was like. You know, uh, are, are, if you're okay with this 
And she's like, go mom, do what you need to do. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, the, the thing, you know, coming back and I thought it was going to be weird. And it's good that I was so busy in the weeks preceding that I didn't have time to think about it. I had three other scripts in my head. Yeah. And so, and I didn't get the script to this before, until right before we did it, or I might've freaked out because I thought, who is Tanya? How do I reconstruct her plus all of these years and all of this information? And I thought it was gonna be a little weird, but we came back to the old set and I got there and I thought, oh, I'm home. This is my living room. Me, Tanya Baxter. This is my kitchen. This is my husband's restaurant, the Chill Grill. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. It just felt like I had been away for a minute and then came back. Yeah, familiar territory, I have to imagine. Yeah. And can I just say, it is so commendable and admirable in my heart that you made that heartbreaking decision to put family before your own career. And now that you, you know, you had the time to do that and to step back into these Tanya Baxter shoes. Um, I, I don't know, that just, that, that, that feels wild to me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was wild, but it was, you know, just because when I'm, when I'm doing something, I'm all in. Mm -hmm. So I, she, Tanya Baxter was so familiar to me that it was easy to jump back into her shoes, literally. Mm -hmm. And to have Rondell there and to have Raven there, it just was so familiar. And because I've seen the show, when I looked at Isaac, I thought, well, that's my grandson. Okay, so I know you can't spill too much, but here's what we do know. We know that Tanya Baxter returns from England. She comes and visits the Baxters in San Francisco to help celebrate her husband, Victor's 60th birthday. Yes. What can you tell me about what we can expect in this season five finale? Ah, I don't know. I, I mean, I think that it's all, I think all I could say and should say is that it's a surprise to everyone when I show up. Because, oh, so it's yeah. even a surprise to Raven and to her father on the show. They had no idea that Mama Baxter was coming back. Right. Wow. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> how does that impact the 60th birthday celebration? Are you sharing tender moments? Are there more comedic moments? Well, we'll certainly see. Well, <laughs> <laughs> You're giving me nothing. <laughs> I know, I'm sure. Yeah, it, there was a mixed reaction, but they're happy to see me. Can you tell me, how are Tanya and Victor making a long distance marriage work? Well, okay, so so this is, this is how I see it. Mm -hmm. It's television. And in television, we pretend things. <laughs> and so we suspend our disbelief. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've created lots of stories because, you know, when you're an actor, it has to make sense to you. Yes. And so in my mind, not, this is not coming from the show, this is coming from me, mm -hmm. that I went to London to finish my uh, studies because I got an incredible scholarship that I couldn't pass. And I always wanted to go to London. And I thought if I go there, you know, they'll come, they'll eventually come with me. Mm -hmm. And instead, I got great offer after great offer after great offer. And and in my mind, I've come back and forth. You just don't see it on the shows. Sure. But I haven't been gone this whole time. I'm just gone when the shows are taping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the advice to the audience is use your imagination. This is a family yes. that is seeing each yeah. other. You're just not seeing it. Yes. We're all gonna pretend, we're just gonna pretend that yeah. there was a really good reason why, that she was in London and you know, why not? London's a really fascinating place and who wouldn't want to go over there and stay, you know, a couple of decades or so. Well, Takiya, now I'm wondering, is Tanya Baxter walking through the door with a British accent? Well, is she? Well, <laughs> we'll certainly see, won't we? If there is, fingers crossed, a season six, mm -hmm. would you want to come back full time or maybe even in just a more frequent capacity? Well, and and I, uh, I, I hope there is a season six. Let me say that clear. With or without me, I really hope there is a season six mm -hmm. because it's a wonderful show. Mm -hmm. And ever, those children, ah, oh, 
spectacular. Every time they, but certainly if they asked me, I'd come back, of course. I, I, and I think it would be lovely and cute. I love that you're a fan and you know that your fans would seriously hope to see more of you if fingers crossed there is a season six. They're, they're already, they're already saying that, they're already demanding it. <laughs> more than a few people, like it's my Way more. Thing. It, about time, mm -hmm. what took you so long? Yeah. You better have come on there. Um, <laughs> Listen, I hope we answered all of those things in this interview. <laughs> I hope so too. I hope, I'm just, I'm happy that they're happy and that it all worked out. Some people are saying, oh, the family's all back together, but you know who we're missing. You, you know, we're missing my baby, Kyle. Mm -hmm. And so he wasn't on the show, but we FaceTimed him while I was there. And so we were all together and that was wonderful. What did, what went down in that FaceTime? Was it laughs? Was it reconnecting? For the first minute, he was just screaming. <laughs> he was not expecting to see you in Tanya Baxter mode, I imagine. No, no, yeah. <laughs> because she called him first and she had, you know, so he just saw him and she goes, guess who I have with me? She turned and he was like, is, is that, is that, is that? <gasps> I've, I've always said I have the best family in the world and that includes all of my fans and I really, really, really appreciate them.